guys welcome back to another video so if you're new to my channel my name is Ella Jessica and if you're wondering what this video is all about it's about my medical condition that I've had for about four years and I was recently diagnosed back in January so I recently went to see my consultant so I thought I would update you on what she thinks and where I am at and the steps to moving forwards and what we're hoping to do over the sort of the next year or six months so I went up uh, yesterday which is Tuesday the day I'm filming this is Wednesday so it was the 15th I went up to my London hospital appointment to see my consultant and she is absolutely lovely she's an absolute brilliant consultant to have and she's very very positive and will let you try and do as much as you want without pushing yourself but going actually that's not realistic sometimes so first good positive thing was I think she making the step of moving out she think that she thinks that was probably the best thing i've done for my condition she can see that i'm a lot brighter and a lot happier and a lot more positive regarding moving out and living on my own i've got my own space i don't have to deal with loads of loud noises and just loud people all the time it was very difficult to have wind out on time without worrying that something was going to happen in the evenings um, I'm obviously not going to go into details about it um, but if you don't know they are looking into whether I have PTSD so for me it had a massive inf impact on that and it also impacted on my chronic fatigue syndrome the second stress was college now I have taken a year out of college to rethink my plan on where I'd like to go due to education wise and career paths. I'm hoping to join the police force, that's something I'm looking to getting back into but mainly my main goal at the moment is to at least be able to start running again and go running on a regular basis. I did try it a couple of weeks ago or about a month ago and unfortunately I overdid it and my body said no. So I'm working with my OT who's my occupational therapist and the physio who I will hopefully be seeing very soon to try and get that started um, where I can start running and start to build up my fitness so that I can go and do my public services course next year and join the police force which is my ultimate goal. So yes, yeah, some really good positive things. She's really happy that I have decided to take on full-time work and try and minimise the amount of stress in my life. I can get very, very stressed very easily and this is another side of having PTSD. Um, so that is something that doesn't help the PTSD but doesn't help the chronic fatigue either. For me stress has a massive impact on my energy levels, how my brain works, how everything works and for me sorting out work has been probably the most stressful part out of it because I wanted to try and stay with the company that I work with at the moment but unfortunately there weren't enough hours in the same store that I was working in so I've had to go zero hours of that company but join a new company but hopefully I can fall back if it all doesn't work out with a new company and my body just says no I can fall back on my old job and hopefully sort something out with them so yeah, she was very, very happy about that. I also asked her whereabouts I was on the spectrum because you have mild, moderate and severe and it was something I was intrigued about where I was. I vaguely thought I had a, I had a rough idea myself where I was, um, but I just wanted my consultant to confirm it. Um, so I asked her and she goes, you're moderate, but in your head you're mild because I'm so positive about it and so I'm still able to do a lot of things um, like work and do things that I want to do but I just can't do the activities like sports that I would have loved to do and carry on. Um, so yes, that was one thing. So that's another thing. Now, sad news is I was hoping to go away at the end of the month, but my consultant doesn't think it's a good idea to travel seven hours on a coach, on multiple coaches, um, to go up and see a friend. Now, which is very upsetting. If I drove, it might be another story, or if I was going with someone else, 
it might be okay but because I've got to get myself there and I can't sleep on the coaches um, she doesn't think it's a sensible idea at the moment it doesn't mean I can't do it in the future but we're looking to hopefully next half term when my friends come to college to go up there and see her which would be lovely I was gutted when she said it but I wanted to ask her because in my head I think I can do things realistically and actually um, I think mentally I can do things but realistically I really can't um, because my body just won't let me do it so I'm glad I spoke to her about that and she said actually it's not a sensible idea so instead because I've already taken the week off for work I'm gonna go see my brother who lives closer and he I know we don't tend to do a lot it's nice just to chill out with him and spend some quality time with my brother um, and it's only a bus ride away and it only takes like half an hour to an hour so it's very very close um, and it's different to traveling a longer distance I struggle traveling into London now and that's only a 45 minute journey so it was a bit of a challenge and it was going to be a bit of a push to get myself up to Doncaster where I wanted to go and see my friend um, but sometimes listening to your consultant and what they think is best um, they know more about you ultimately you know more about your body and how you feel but they can advise you and I wanted to check with them that they thought um, I sorry I wanted to check with her to make sure she thought I was able to go and she has said no um, for now it doesn't mean I'm not going to but um, it doesn't mean I can't ever go it just means we have to hold our plans off for a little bit longer another really good thing and she was really pleased with is I've come down on both my medications one medication I'm no longer taking which was the amitriptyline which a lot of people take for lots of different reasons for me I took it for pain control and um, sleep I soon after I moved in here I stopped taking it and it took a while for my sleep to get into a normal pattern but I didn't give in and I let my body sort of take time and get into a normal sleep routine and also my anxiety and depression medication I have come down significantly I was on 100 milligrams and then came down to 50 every day and now I'm taking it every other day to hopefully looking to come off it in the next month or so it all it's all up to the GP um, but I feel like having one thing that's really helped me deal with my condition is having a positive attitude and I think because of what people in my family having conditions themselves medical conditions I look up to them and they're still able to do things that they want to do um, not always everything that they want to do but they will try and do something my dad has inspired me so much to get on and go no matter how ill I feel he is someone I definitely look up to when it comes to um, getting up and going and this is why I haven't given up on getting better and I think get it, moving out of home was the best thing for me because my brain was like okay you can get better and I had a complete mindset change when I was at home I was like, I'm never gonna get better did it I've got this for the rest of my life and my dad was like no you're not you're gonna get better from chronic fatigue syndrome and I was like what are you talking about no you're not um, but actually since moving out and starting work I've seen a massive improvement with my chronic fatigue so I'm hoping over the next couple of months it will stabilize a little bit better um, I had a bit of a wobble this morning where I felt shattered and it's taken me pretty much all morning to actually get up and go um, but now that I'm up and I have eaten some food I feel a lot better in myself um, and that is something that you learn with OT um, about pacing and also I've learned through my therapist he when I first got diagnosed he worked with me a lot with chronic fatigue syndrome and as much even though I knew some things about it because I'd done my own research he helped me to learn to pace and to rest I'm still quite stubborn about resting and stopping halfway through the day um, but we still get we still go um, no more matter what and so that was that and last but not least um, I want to let you guys know that I have made a life um, a lifestyle change 
if you've been following me from the beginning you will have known that I went vegan last time last year for about six months now um, for multiple reasons I stopped doing it I stopped eating vegan and I tried again near around Christmas I think and obviously chocolate was involved and it, I just my brain just I wasn't really in the right space to do it again where now I've tried again for the third time and I'm determined to stick with it so I'm gonna give it a three month burst and see how it goes I'm seeing hopefully my consultant with my OT and a physio um, who I hopefully will be seeing very soon in about six weeks so I'm gonna update her then but when I was vegan last time around um, or last yeah last time around so the second attempt was a fail completely so I wouldn't even say I was vegan for very long um, but being vegan really the first time around my Emmy was amazing to, this was before I was diagnosed and it actually took me quite a long time to realize there was something wrong once I'd gone vegan because there was parts of my brain which was like no nothing's wrong I'm fine um, but when you eat vegan and you eat more of a plant-based diet your chronic fatigue syndrome has for some reason changes like you have so much more energy and so much more light life um so i'm hoping making this change again is going to have a massive impact on my chronic fatigue syndrome and make it better in a good way not a bad way um so yes i have been doing it for the last sort of since sunday i want to say yeah since sunday and so far it's so good um so it's only it, i'm only in the early stages but it is wednesday so um i have been eating vegan for the last or was it monday i started <laughs> i can't remember i think sunday or monday i started um excuse me but it had i feel so much better in myself already um and yes okay i had a bit of a dip but just i feel like i can get better again um, with just having a new fresh mindset I feel so much more positive about work and sorting things out and just trying to organize my life I think if you live on your own and you've got chronic fatigue syndrome trying to organize is easier said than done when you've especially got brain fog um, but I will say it has had a massive um, impact trying to organize my life and when I get paid I pay things I need to pay um, so yes it's it's not it's made a massive difference so yes I'm gonna stop rambling now because I don't really know where this video is going so if you like this type of video give it a big thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button for more vlogs and for more videos and I will see you next week for another video bye guys